Inferno versus Baby Cakes. Starting off strong. Both these characters, they've been kind of on the rise. But uh, I did fall out a little bit uh, due to MKLeo dropping him. But we'll have to see a little bit going on right now. Starting out on this on this stage. So right now, Lucario's neutral, basically consisting of using his uh, excellent grab and his combos and stuff. And wanting to keep on moving forward and getting on with his use of his snare. Uh, 2 GG chair is being replaced. Sorry, I can't leave my man hanging on solo commentary by himself. So it looks like we got Baby Cakes versus Grey Inferno. Yeah, we got Baby Cakes on the Lucario. Lucario is a very interesting character. We saw Anti live him out a little bit, but ever since then has been falling out. Really wants right. to search those bears. Hmm. So that's kind of the game plan. Yeah, Lucario is very one of those polarizing characters, but not if you just charge down smash at ledge and kill him at like 60. Doesn't have to deal with all that aura and rage. But keep in mind, even when they're stocked down, they have 0%, they do get a little bit of aura just because the R is stocked down. Yeah, so. it's like the reminder of the double set where you'll SD on purpose just right. so you can get that stock advantage. But uh, killing Lucari early is like one of the most optimal things, especially if your IQ is able to use these Nair and just hit really hard using the start and the up B as well, able to air dodge out, but the L smash does catch him out for a little bit more damage. All right. I know this is going to be a really rough match for Lucario because Ike's all about you know, zoning people out with that large, large Nair hitbox. So yet again, every time Lucario wants to try to do something, he has to deal with that huge Ragnall in the way. Able to finally get out the up tilt lands, but no kill off. And this is what Lucario really struggles with trying to get these kills. But he finally lands the Aura Spear, knocking him off stage. But Ike's able to escape. Gray Inferno is doing a really good job chipping away at Lucario and getting this damage out 84% already. And, yeah, yeah, I feel like Gray Inferno is kind of just throwing Whoa. out a bunch of hitboxes. And you know, he eventually just gets punished by getting a, a back air off of, uh, the empty hop. But yet again, I feel like Gray Inferno needs to like kind of slow things down, not throw as many like hitboxes out there are just completely safe. No, like that up, yeah. that like neutral B, that up B, you know. Just focus on like that Nair and like spacing your sword properly on shields that they can't punish you. And yet again, Makaro doesn't have a lot of startup on a lot of their moves, but you know what? Oh, but the counter Ooh. actually catches it out. And like I said, it's like the sorties effect where they're constantly throwing out these aerials because they know it's really good. Right. But that counter was crucial, taking it out. Gray Inferno already had impressive lead, but like you said, that's a whiff punish on both sides. Very interesting. All right. You know, he tried countering it, but yet again, you shouldn't just be throwing out up B like that. You know, if you want to use up B as like a other for me option, like at least call him out for that. Uh -oh. And Baby Cakes just as D's. I mean, I feel like maybe she didn't feel like she had a jump. You know, maybe the, using that double jump when she tried uh, or spearing. But not, not the best way to start it. But you yeah. just gotta shake it off and just move on. The uh, Gray Inferno did a really good job zoning. There were some points where you did realize that he was just kind of throwing out these hitboxes in order to try to zone her away. Right. But in the end, uh, remember, Lucario does struggle with range. I mean, the aura does increase the range, especially with the side special. It does work out. But right. in the end, you know, the sorties do give them a lot of trouble. And again, again no, a lot of uh, Lucario stuff, it's super strong. <coughs> But you need a hard read to get into any of those stuff, you know? And so as long as you kind of, like, play around him, you know, wait for him to throw out a hitbox, you know, kind of, like, with punish all he does, Lucario's going to struggle to, like, approach and, like, get in because Lucario really doesn't want to do that. He wants to kind of, like, intercept your air-to-air -air and kind of, like, beat you out that way. Yeah, but he still has his back air, which is super strong, especially with that aura and rage. And he also has those B reversals, mm -hmm. which help confirm into kills is one of the best things that he can possibly do. But we're actually seeing a switch off, potentially, moving on to Olimar, the character right next to Lucario, and definitely has some big differences between in the tier list. Right. You know, definitely Olimar... Olimar traditionally can struggle with swordy characters as well, but because of that grab, because of the, her zoning capabilities with the Pikmin, I feel like it'll be a lot better matchup. Yeah, so I think Baby Case just needs to play a little bit patient and bait out Gray Inferno's counter, which you've seen quite a lot already, and as well as trying to beat out those aerials. And see, once again, we're seeing the counter. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like Gray Inferno is not really reacting to anything. That oh my god, already a zero to death from this start. A miss input for that recovery, so Gray Inferno gets his stock taken. This is massive for Baby Case. Right. And yet again, like, I feel like Green Inferno is just throwing out all these hitboxes, just hoping that they land. And, you know, Baby Cake's kind of getting lucky on a few of them. But, like, yet again, also, just get it again. Like, can't do that, yeah. It works, like, it works the first time. But once you start doing the same thing over and over again, it just doesn't work out. And also, we're also seeing that you, when you're throwing out these hitboxes, like you said, we're seeing the counter come again once right. and once more. And Baby Kicks is just constantly just camping them out, which I, which seems lame, but it works, right? Right. I mean, if you're going to choose to spam one move, spam the one move that they can't punish you for, and that would be Nair. Yeah, but again, you could get kills off of that. Mm -hmm. 
But like, the uppy... Up, like, there's no point in going uppy in neutral, like, unless they're, like, right on top of you so that you can get damage and get off me, but... I, you know what? I like the attempt there. Yeah, I like that. I yeah. like the attempt there at the very least because he know he could guarantee that counter off of the Pikmin hit. Yeah, but uh, still unable to get a great job with Whistle to make sure that he gets the purple Pikmin back. But Olimar doing a really good job. I like this really campy style, making sure that he keeps the sword away. Because right. like you said, the Pikmin can get beaten out by the sword, but what's the point when you're conquering just throwing it out? Yeah. And, you know, like, he can only get three Pikmin at a time, but, like, Yet again, with his pluck ability, like it doesn't really matter how many of them die because he'll always get them back. You know, oh, That's you get thrown off stage. Let me pluck another one. There we go. Yep, and he's got right now. He's waiting for the blue one so he can just go for the grab, rotating forward, and finally gets it. But it was actually the blue Pikmin that was thrown out as the aerial, so he's actually going to stay safe and alive. Right. And I like what he was trying to do. He was trying to like read the air dodge in or oh, something. Oh, the but jab. Ooh, yeah. Again, like that, like. Jab three, like arm swing downwards, really did a lot of damage, but 170% oh, is not going to be enough to lift that up there. And also, do remember that Baby Kings has a full stock advantage, and these Pikmin right. constantly being thrown out. It's it's really cool what you said earlier, right? But when you keep doing it over and over again, you just start becoming predict predictable, and that's the worst thing you can do in Smash Ultimate. Right. There we go. Uh, yet again, uh, it worked once. And it pretty much hasn't worked again yeah, since. it hasn't worked since. And Baby Kicks is just easily contesting, throwing out these Pikmin. It right. seems like Gray Inferno seems a little lost in what to do. Like, right. all these Pikmin are being thrown out. He can't contest. It's not like Lucina, where she can literally hit them all back. Ike's, uh, Ike's uh, aerials come out a little slower, and they don't have as much as auto cancel the room, except the Nair, which I'm surprised we're not seeing a lot of. Right. I would imagine that if, like, if you're playing Ike, you want to go like, OK, let me let me run up Nair and like just like what is what is Almar going to do? He can't really grab him. Yeah, but out of, out of well, speaking of grabbing, grabbing him, yeah, he just gets right and screen splats right on there. But we're seeing an entirely different game from Baby Cakes. Is able to really zone away using that Pikmin to her advantage. Right. But I think the biggest problem is it was not just that Baby Cakes is playing well. It's just that Grave Inferno is throwing out these moves that are completely unsafe. Oh yeah. Like, we're, you know, we've seen so many memes about Ike's Nair, right. yet we've seen it only once or twice. Yeah. It's definitely, like, the best move in his toolkit. It, it, it defines his neutral, yeah. you know? So, yet again, I feel like if you're not throwing out Nair, like, every, like, two seconds, like, what are you doing? And Baby Kicks is going for a switch. Uh-oh. Right. It's the two MKLOs. All right. It's two characters that he's played. But switching over, I mean, it makes your opponent constantly think about the picks, right? Right. I mean, but Joker might be a little easier. It is a little more common pick, especially here in SoCal, the Wednesday night fight. But moving on forward with Gray Inferno. Hopefully he's able to get something down, but immediately this damage coming in. And also, one more thing I'm noticing a lot, way too many side specials. Right. You know, I, I like to see him go for grabs, because Ike does have a really good grab game, too. You know, and I feel like we've never seen one grab come out from oh, the Ike. Haven't, yeah. yeah. And his down throw is good. Joker is able to do so much with these grabs, but we're just seeing none. And these side specials, I, I don't get it. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't add up, and these options are super super unsafe. And once again, it's going to use the Rebel Scar to get a little bit of that R set there. But look at this zoning away, and the F Smash finally takes the baby kicks only taking 13%. Yep. You know, I feel like Ike is just kind of being stuffed out, knowing that, like, hey, all this, like, normal stuff that he likes to go for it isn't quite connecting as well. And I feel like what he just needs to do is just slow down and realize, okay, what will work. Mm -hmm. And we're I'm starting to see a small pattern. Way too many rolls I'm actually seeing. Mm. He throws an aerial. He'll throw out an aerial or a counter. So he's going to walk forward, throw an air the tilt, and then he's going to roll back. That's this constant thing. He's too afraid. And the down smash only gets it. But with Arsen online, he needs to be super careful, and he's also vulnerable to these counters, right. like able to exploit really poor recovery. Yep. And he's intercepting all these side beats with the Aegon, but yet again manages to sneak in through there, but eats so much percent off of that. Yep, he's gonna get so much, 99% already. He has one back air from the edge of the stage, from hitting close to death, and he's gonna go in and actually get it down. Baby King's tried to go for an edge smash, but he's gonna eat the punish, it was not fast enough. All right. You know, I feel like at that point, when he's charging up smash, like, just just let him throw it out. Like, what is he going to do? And, oh, <laughs> my God, just throws out the uppie a little bit too early and he's going to SD for it. I mean, that's that's one thing you can do, right? You can SD with Ike, but mm -hmm. it's finally, as we get out of it, 
actually cancels out and we're seeing once again now she's starting to bait out the counter and just like that fires back with her own this recovery is getting way too linear even that we can both see it right and yet again throwing out all these smash attacks they're slow they're strong but it's easily be red so yet again he has to be super careful about how he gets back to stage here he goes off stage and yet again i like that mixing up how he gets back to legend that's what you gotta do as i because he went high a whole bunch of times like there so Dude, again, you kind of just have to watch where your opponent's going. And Is that going to spike him down both? Oh, but you unfortunate. Know, yeah. Baby Cake's going to take it easily just like that. But it just seemed that there were a lot more mistakes that we're seeing. We, even we as right. casters were able to analyze way too many side specials. But unfortunately right. for that. But Baby Cakes did a great job yeah. getting that read down. Yeah. And I also just realized.